Good day everyone. Welcome once again to our class Math 051 Engineering Calculus 1. So this is the part 5 of our review of functions. So today we are going to focus our discussion on the functions called absolute value function. So what is absolute value function? So using the definition of the absolute value function of any real number x, let us consider the function given by this expression y equal to f of x equal to absolute value of x equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative x if x is less than 0. So the domain of the function is a real number. If you look at this, so the domain is a real number, and the range is the set of all non-negative numbers. Okay, so just remember for absolute value function given by this uh, expression, so the domain of the function is R, real numbers, and the range is the set of all non-negative numbers. So here let us have an example on how to graph the function. So we're given this expression g of x equal to absolute value of x plus 1. And we are asked to sketch the graph of this function. Alright, so what's the procedure of graphing a function? So we just... Uh, tabulate the values okay and then graph the points that we are going to uh, get no, from solving the g sub x okay so we have here x and you have the function of x g sub x Okay, so let us try. For example, if we have x equal to, say, minus 4. When x equal to minus 4, what will be our g sub x? So, minus 4 plus 1 equal to minus 3. But take the absolute value of minus 3, so we have positive 3. How about if we have minus 3? If x is equal to minus 3, so minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Absolute value of minus 2 is 2. And if you have, say, minus 2, x equal to minus 2, so minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Absolute value of minus 1 is 1. Okay, how about for x equal to minus 1? If x equal to minus 1, so minus 1 plus 1 is 0, absolute value of 0, that is still 0. And if x equal to 0, so 0 plus 1, absolute value of plus 1 is 1. How about if x is equal to 1? So when x equal to 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, absolute value of 2 is 2. And if x equal to 2, so 2 plus 1 is 3, so absolute value of positive 3 is also 3. 
if for example if x is equal to 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 absolute value of 4 is 4 and if x equal to 4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so absolute value of 5 is 5 okay so we have this um, value so pair of this ordered pair uh, is the coordinates of the points So this is our y equal to f of x, or in this case we have g sub x. This is our x. Okay, so Okay, so assuming this is our uh, one, this is our two, this is our three, and this is our four. This is our minus one. This is our minus two. Minus three. We have here minus four. Okay, and then we have one, two, three, four, and we have five. Okay, so let's uh, plot the points. So in okay, pointers, color. So when x equal to minus four, we have g sub x is three. So minus four, g sub x minus three. So it's somewhere here. So, uh, somewhere here, the point is here. Then when x is equal to minus 3, so minus 3, g sub x is 2, so it's somewhere here. Then when x equal to minus 2, g sub x is 1. And when x equal to minus 1, so g sub x is 0. So it's somewhere here. Then when x is equal to 0, when x equal to 0, g sub x is 1. When x equal to 0, g sub x is 1, so it's here. Okay, at this point now when x equal to 1 g sub x is 2 
So it's here. When g when x equal to two, g sub x is three. So it's somewhere here. Then when x equal to three, g sub x is four. So somewhere here. And when x equal to four, g sub x is five. So it's about here. Okay. Now if you are going to connect the points as uh, what we have discussed before so the rule is after you have the points you just connect the points and we'll see okay so this is the graph of our function the absolute value function g sub x equal to x plus 1 okay so this is the graph of our function any question so it doesn't matter class so you can assume here minus 5 minus 6 one, 7 and so on so it will look like a V for example if you say if we add here say minus 5 when this is minus 5 if x equal to minus 5 but uh, what is our g sub x so minus 5 plus 1 so minus 4 absolute value of minus 4 is positive 4 so we have here positive 4 or if we plot that point so minus 5 minus 5 is here this sub x is 4 so somewhere here ok so we have another point here so and then we put the arrow so to indicate that we could assume more values going to the left as well as going to the right okay so I hope this is uh, clear to you and once again uh, we'll end our review of this particular function the absolute value function and thank you very much see you on the next video bye